Hello everyone, I'm going to be making a video of top-down fighters. Apparently it is by Dustin. This is the loading screen as we're going to go ahead and get into this game right now. And so basically this game is a top-down fighter and you control this little guy who moves around and apparently there's a giant dropship over here. And what is a reaper doing down here? Huh, I'm finding a bunch of stuff I didn't even know was in here. So anyways, basically you control this little guy, you click to shoot, and um, just look at the UI really quick. There's your ammo up here, your lives. You can save and load, apparently. I don't know if that's actually working yet. Um, and then when you reload, or when you run out of ammo, you do have to reload. And basically you shoot whichever direction you are clicking in. And then down here is your health, your energy. You have reload, stim pack, and psionic grenade. And so that's kind of cool. You, I will show you guys that in just a second. It's pretty epically awesome. And then it even has a combat log over on the left side. Um, if you guys can see that, it's showing how much damage I'm doing to these little buggy critters here. And so the controls are WASD. You do run around just with the typical, you know, WASD type controls that we have seen in some of my other, well actually I guess, yeah, in my last two videos you do use WASD. And so that is pretty common. And the map editor though, does allow you to do a lot of awesome games like this, and I think I'm going the wrong way. Yes, I definitely am going the wrong way. And you can also jump. Wee, wee. It's kind of hard to tell though, because it is a top-down view, and usually there is no reason to jump in top-down view games. Um, and so you just basically run around, and you're killing Zerg players or Zerg units rather. And I'm going to show you the uh, psionic. What is it? Whatever costs the energy. It's psionic grenades. Uh, I'll show you that. It's pretty cool. So you, basically to use it, you have to do a right click and you can only do it the way you're looking. So running away from Zerging is not the best time to do that. And I love how the hotkey for reload is just R. So it's like you're playing an RTS uh, just with those kind of hotkeys. And so you, when you're looking, boom, you can cast Size Storm. How awesome is that? A Marine with Size Storm. Overpowered. And uh, as long as you have the energy to cast it, which it does recharge fairly quickly, then you can do that. You can also use stim packs, which I don't really use. Uh, I, I think that they, I mean, it only costs 10 HP, so I guess it's okay. And so I'm going to just, yeah, wee, and it makes you run like ultra super fast, uh, like all good stim packs should. Oh man, it also makes you run into units if you're a noob like I am. And just killing roaches. Uh, wow, man, how long does stim pack last? I am just like hauling it right now. There we go, it finally did run out. And one thing is that a lot of games you'll see black screens like this down here. That's more of a map editor problem, not really the, the person making the map. It's not like they're intentionally, you know, leaving black stuff on there. Oh, man. Oh, is that a queen? That is indeed a queen. Come on, give me a storm. Give me a storm. There we go. And the storm does do friendly fire, so you got to be really careful. And these combat logs and the, the fact that it shows how much damage you're doing is just awesome. Whoa, the range on that queen. Absolutely out of control. There we go. Was able to kill her. So get out of here, queen. Killed her. Absolutely no problem. And there is a bunch more Zergings. And oh, yeah, storm y'all in the face. And one little guy left over thinks he's cool. Can you run in the water? Nope, can't go in the water. He does have he does have pathing blockers, as this is kind of like an. It kind of reminds me of an NES game. So a lot of the maps I review, you may be like, "Oh, these are arcade games, man! I played these as a kid, or whatever." And that is exactly why I'm going to review them because there are so many awesome maps out there. Well, you, what is your problem? Go away, Roach. Um. Anyways, I just think they're awesome that they have. Basically, all the old games, all the NES games. Basically, when you buy StarCraft 2, you are buying every old school game ever made because you just know there's going to be so many map makers out there who are just willing to make these awesome maps for our enjoyment. So my end is kind of just spreading the love around, trying to show you the maps that I think are cool. And so far, I think this map is awesome. And it's you got to remember, it's really important that to remember that the map editor has only been out for I mean a week or something like that and so for people to already have maps like this is just it's it's awesome so if you're a map maker out there I love you I do love custom maps especially ones like this where it has a very good control style because for me gaming is all about gameplay I mean that's kind of why I'm so attracted to StarCraft is that it has always been gameplay first graphics second and so that for me that's no different in these custom maps um, if people are going to make good controls, good, uh, gra or like good, I, I don't want to say graphics, but like good, just something that looks good, but it also controls really, really well, then I think that's awesome. Like, just, I think like, the, oh my, is that an Ultralisk? Why do people always put Ultralisk in their games? Run away, run away, run away, run away. Okay, thank goodness that guy reset. Oh man, so, so far two of the maps I've played have had giant Ultralisk in them. 
and you can kind of cast Psy Storm wherever you want. So that is pretty awesome. So let's save up some energy here. I wonder if there's anything down here. Do do do. There's a roach over here. Just kind of chilling out. Apparently he's off the playing field. There we go. I hate roaches, but I do love the sound that roaches make when they die. That is definitely something I like. Where it's just like. Pfft. Okay. So, anyways, let's go ahead and kill this this ultralisk boss over here, and then stim pack is E. So maybe I should use a stim pack on him. Oh, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. This ultralisk is so fast. And then I cast Psy Storm on him while he's running away, because that's how awesome I am. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm just a tiny marine. Nice. Oh, it looks so awesome when a giant Ultralisk dies. Look at all these hearts. How many hearts does an Ultralisk have? Jeez. Maybe that was his lungs. So, that is pretty much it. Apparently, that is the end. But um, this map is absolutely awesome. I can't wait to see when there's more levels and, and new weapons and stuff like that. Just imagine the possibilities with the StarCraft map editor. So, that is awesome. Let's try save and then load. Um, welcome back. Let's see. If I move and then save and load. Oh, well, anyways, apparently you can save a profile. And there's also going to be multiplayer co-op. How awesome is that, guys? Oh, I can't wait for this map editor. I seriously can't even explain how excited I am for the map editor. So, anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There will be a link down in the description. And one thing I do want to mention is that all of these maps, they can be found in the curse portal of SC2 Mapster. I'm actually going to have a link. They just uploaded a brand new site, and it looks awesome. So I'm going to show you that. Uh, there will be a link down in the description. So go ahead and check it out. And that will be that. So, anyways, I'll see you guys next time.